Uh, thank you for introducing me. Uh, I'm Xinyang Huang from uh, Tsinghua University, China. So our topic today is on qubit, uh, conditional qubit attack on reduced round Kachak sponge function. Uh, here's our uh, contents today. Uh, we will introduce uh, uh, Kachak sponge function and the cube tester. Then we will uh, describe our new model here about the conditional cube tester. And then we will uh, apply our new model to several algorithms. Uh, so let's uh, we start to we start from the Kachak sponge function. Uh, Kachak sponge function family was designed in 2007. Uh, it was selected by uh, the uh, NIST in 2012 as a, uh, pro uh, as a SHA-3 winner uh, to be the next uh, generation of uh, uh, standard hash function. Since then, uh, crypt analysis of Kachak has attracted increasing attention, but most of the attention are on the uh, keyless setting. Uh, for example, many results have, have been uh, obtained on uh, collision attack, pre-image attack, second pre-image attack, and uh, distinguishing attack. Uh, besides, in the key mode, the security of uh, Kachak mic and Kiak has also been analyzed, but most of the results are based on uh, cube attack and uh, cube-like attack. Uh, here's uh, uh, the uh, construction of uh, uh, Kachak's function. Uh, because of uh, the different sizes of uh, uh, input, uh, there are four, four versions here. And uh, the, uh, the round function of Kachak has, uh, has f five steps. Uh, because uh, 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 the, the Yota step have uh, no, will not Im impact our result, so we omit it here. The first three uh, steps are linear ones, and the chi step is a nonlinear one. The degree of chi is two, so that the outputs of n round Kachak are with a degree no more than two to the n. Uh, the new uh, sign cube variables in the column parity kernel. This is a very important uh, uh, property for Kachak. Uh, uh, sponge function. They uh, use this uh, property to control the propagation of cube variables uh, and prevent them from being multiplied with each other in the first round. Uh, but in our work, we will um, uh, we will see the propagation in the second round, and uh, the the uh, bit tracing method, which proposed by Xiao Yun Wang is a very powerful technique to analyze hash functions. Uh, inspired by the previous works, we propose a new, pro a new approach by imposing bit conditions on the inputs to control the propagation of, uh, of, of cube variables caused by uh, nonlinear operation chi. Here's the uh, structure of uh, Kachak, Mike, and uh, Kiak. Um, uh, we assume that the, the message of Kiak is uh, uh, of uh, two blocks. Uh, in our work, we first uh, propose a key uh, recovery attack on reduced around uh, Kachak, Mike. Uh, you can see that from the, the table, uh, we improve the uh, existing result uh, uh, sharply. Uh, and we, um, we, we uh, have a, a practical attack on the sixth round uh, Kachak, Kachak mic. The second part of our work is to analyze Kiak. Uh, we extend one more round, and we have a, a practical attack on the seventh round uh, Kiak. The third part of our work is to design. Sorry. Okay. 
the third part of our work is design uh, distinguishing attacks on Kachak's bunch function. This is a much stronger uh, result than a, a Kachak F distinguisher because a, a Kachak F distinguisher is working on the, uh, the, the whole state and our result is working on the uh, input part. And you can see that most of, uh, all of our distinguishers here are practical ones. Uh, then we will uh, discuss uh, cube tester. Uh, cube tester was proposed by Dinu, and uh, if we have a, a boolean function f, uh, we uh, we with uh, uh, with with n variables, and we have a uh, we can, if we can write f as a, as a list form, we can uh, sum uh, sum uh, the value of uh, f over all the possible possible values of the cube. So uh, the cube here is uh, uh, the coefficient of uh, term t, and the, that's the value of p t. We call the, the sum cube sum here, and you can see that this uh, cube sum can be taken as a higher order uh, derivative of the output polynomial. And the, uh, the existing uh, results uh, are working on the uh, properties for polynomial P PT, such as its uh, low uh, uh, degree and uh, highly unbalanced uh, truth table. But in our work, uh, we will prove that uh, PT is zero uh, with, uh, with the bit conditions uh, satisfied. Uh, uh, then we will talk about the uh, new model here. We, um, we divide the cube variables into two, two kinds. Uh, it says uh, conditional cube variable and ordinary cube variable. Uh, we, we will show the out view of uh, bit conditions here. We sent uh, uh, the cube variable here, and you can uh, see from the, the, the picture that um, it will uh, diffuse to uh, the the two uh, black uh, uh, black beads uh, in in the first round and the colorful beads. Uh, our technique is to control the uh, the di uh, diffusion of the colorful beads. Um, yeah, the, the the idea of our mod new model is to attach some bit connections to a cube tester. Uh, you can see that. The colorful bits is related to the plain text, and uh, if we um, attach some bit conditions, the colorful bits will be uh, controlled, and uh, uh, the diffusion will will not continue. Um, uh, we divide the, the cube, uh, cube variables into two kinds uh, by the uh, conditions. If we attach some condition to control the propagation and the multiplication of uh, the cube variables, that's the uh, uh, conditional cube variables. Otherwise, uh, the variables will be called uh, ordinary cube variables. In the next uh, theorem, we uh, count the number of uh, conditional cube variable and the ordinary cube variable. Uh, if we have uh, this, this many uh, cube variables, uh, we can prove that the term will not appear in the output uh, polynomials. That's uh, um, PT in the previous uh, uh, theorems, uh, which is equal to zero forever. Uh, here we have uh, some uh, proper properties of uh, Kachak's function to uh, construct a, a conditional cube tester. Before, uh, before we uh, describe the 
properties, we will give a, a bitwise uh, derivative uh, of five here. And uh, we want to say that there is an equivalent relationship between the uh, differential characteristic and the bitwise derivatives of uh, Boolean functions when we, de uh, when we are uh, expressing the propagation of a uh, cube variable. So the advantage of the uh, differential characteristic uh, is that uh, uh, it's very straightforward. You can see uh, what bit uh, the, uh, the cube variable uh, um, uh, are, involved, are, are involved. And for the, the later one, the advantage is that we can uh, show the properties here uh, mathematically. Here is the first uh, uh, property here. Uh, if we want to control the uh, di diffusion in, in step chi, we have to attach two bit conditions. You can see that with these two conditions, the diffusion of V0 is controlled. And in this picture, uh, we compare the propagation of an uh, ordinary cube variable and uh, conditional cube variable. You can see that with the uh, gray bits controlled, uh, the, uh, the cu conditional cube variable only affects uh, 22 uh, bits in the, in the, in the 1.5 states. So the, the, the diffusion of uh, a conditional cube variable takes the less space uh, than the ordinary cube variable. Uh, so in the next uh, step chi, uh, there will less prob uh, probability for the conditional cube variable to get multiplied uh, with the uh, ordinary ones. Uh, we call a conditional uh, cube variable in such a pattern for uh, we have uh, two, uh, two bits in the uh, input state and uh, two bits in the first round state and uh, 22 bits in the 1.5 states. We have uh, following two uh, uh, properties here to describe uh, the multiplication uh, and the exclusion. Uh, the multiplication is for the uh, one, one uh, the two variables V0 uh, in, uh, in the neighborhood bits, it will get, uh, get multiplied in the uh, chi step. And the exclusion uh, is for uh, you count, uh, you, uh, is that you count, uh, um, uh, control the propagation of uh, these two bits, uh, these two variables, because uh, uh, the bit conditions will affect each other. You can't fix uh, F1 to be zero and one at the same time. Uh, based on these uh, 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 properties, uh, we have some uh, algorithm to determine the relationship uh, of uh, cube variables. We want to see whether uh, they will, multi will get multiplied after the first round or the second round. Uh, you can see our uh, algorithm. In our algorithm, we only need to uh, compute the output difference, and we only have to compare the uh, output difference to get the relationship back. The advantage of uh, our three algorithms is that uh, we can uh, we can determine the relationship very efficient because we don't need to uh, compute out the exactly uh, representation of uh, the, the Boolean functions. And then we will talk about the uh, applications. The first application is the key recovery attack on round reduced Kachak mic. Here's the general precise of the attack. We just uh, need to uh, guess the value of uh, ice equivalent uh, key bits and calculate the, uh, the cube sum. If we get the zero cube sum, the guess may, may be the uh, right 
the right one. Uh, if it's not zero, we will turn to another uh, guess and compute out the, uh, the sum. Uh, we analyze uh, the uh, complexity of uh, the general precise here. Uh, when uh, accuration of the above uh, precise uh, takes uh, uh, this, this much catch uh, cost, and this is determined by 2 to the s minus p. Uh, usually, when, uh, when the, the number of uh, conditional cube variable grows, I, I mean p, when p grows uh, larger, uh, there will be more uh, key bits involved in the uh, condition, bit conditions. Uh, I mean that uh, when p grows, s grows faster than p. So uh, in our case, we use one conditional cube variable and uh, two to the n plus one minus one uh, ordinary cube variable to con uh, construct uh, our key recovery attack. Moreover, we choose uh, this uh, variable as a conditional cube variable because there are only uh, two uh, equivalent, equivalent uh, uh, key bits in the uh, bit conditions. Uh, this saves the, 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 the cost of uh, the attack, uh, uh, of the attack more. Uh, in this algorithm, uh, we search the corresponding uh, uh, cube uh, variables along with uh, the, the uh, conditional cube variable we have uh, assigned. We run algorithm four and get the, the other ordinary cube variables uh, and devise the uh, bit conditions and uh, the, uh, guess the key in the attack. The next uh, example is a uh, uh, simple illustration of the attack where the key was generate, uh, generated randomly. You can see that when we get the right value, we will get, uh, will get a, a cube sum with zero. But for other wrong guesses, the cube sum is a random, is a random string. For five round the uh, Kachak mic, the key re is recovered, uh, is recovered in two to the twenty-four time and data. Similarly, we use one conditional cube variable and uh, uh, 31 ordinary cube variable to recover the four key bits. Uh, we, uh, we also run algorithm four to get other ordinary cube variables here. We, pre, uh, we pre present uh, an instance here uh, and the key is uh, generated randomly. For the seven round uh, uh, Kachak mic, we do the same thing. Uh, and uh, recover the full key with two to the uh, 72 catch up calls. Here we come to the recovery, key recovery attack on reduced round key arc. Uh, this is a very easy and natural because we have uh, uh, a lot of output bits, so we can inverse the the, the chi step in the last round. Uh, because of this, uh, we get the, um, we can extend the, uh, the, 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 fo the former uh, key recovery attack uh, by one round. The only difference here is the bit conditions and the key, key we guessed. Actually, this is a, a, a state recovery attack when we get the two, uh, 256 bits, uh, we can inverse the first uh, Kachak uh, internal permutation and, uh, and uh, we get uh, the master key. Here is our results. And then we will talk about uh, the distinguishing attacks uh, on Kachak's bunch function. Uh, by theorem three, 
if we use uh, two to the n plus one conditional cube variables, uh, we can construct a, a distinguisher for n plus two round Kachak sponge function. Uh, this is because that uh, the least conditional cube variables will not get uh, uh, multiplied with each other in the first two rounds. So after another n round Kachak sponge function, the the degree of uh, of uh, uh, these cube variables uh, is uh, no more than two to the n. So we get a, a distinguisher because of this uh, property. And uh, our construction of the distinguisher includes two parts. First of all, we will find a combination of uh, a sufficiently many conditional variables. And then we derive the corresponding bit conditions for the chosen uh, conditional cube variables. And uh, uh, but how we can find the uh, con uh, co combination of uh, sufficiently many conditional variables? Uh, we can uh, take the differential of uh, of uh, cube variables as uh, toy bricks. Uh, because of uh, we have uh, different shapes of uh, the differential, we have different uh, types of uh, uh, toy bricks. And the state of uh, Kachak, we can uh, take it as a box. So the problem here is to put, to put up the toy bricks into a big box as many as possible. At the same time, uh, the bricks should have a distance between each other because we don't want the uh, variables to get uh, multiplied in the chi step. We uh, abstract uh, this problem into a mathematical model. Uh, for every cube variable candidate, we denote it with a new variable and we derive the constraints over the uh, new variables because the multiplication, there are still multiplication and uh, exclusion between the conditional cube variables. We abstract this problem into a mixed integer uh, linear programming here. Uh, we want to get, uh, uh, we want to get uh, enough uh, uh, conditional variables uh, uh, and uh, with these uh, constraints. We generate the constraints on the cube, uh, cube variable uh, candidates uh, uh, by this algorithm. We run algorithm to get the constraints. Uh, we solve the model with a groovy optimizer and get the cube uh, uh, conditional cube variables as follows. The time uh, complexity for the distinguishing attack uh, on the uh, six round Kachak uh, is uh, two to the nine Kachak calls, uh, and the uh, data is the same. Uh, we say it's uh, six round Kachak uh, uh, because uh, we can extend uh, it by one more round. Uh, it's, it is because that. Uh, we have more than uh, 320 bits of the outputs. Uh, we can inverse the last uh, uh, chi step uh, freely. Uh, similarly, we find a combination uh, for, the, for, for this version, and uh, we get a, a seven round distinguisher. But for Kachak 224, the same precise can be applied with uh, conditional cube variables uh, in 2 to 2 to uh, 22 pattern. But this problem, the, the, the searching problem here is uh, very difficult to solve. So we turn to uh, some better patterns. Uh, that's the double kernel pattern. The bit bitwise uh, derivative of uh, such a chosen variable are still invariant uh, with respect uh, to the operation uh, theta in the second step. Here you can see uh, the better differentials, uh, which are much uh, sparser than the former one. 
in in the in this new mode uh, in this problem uh, we can uh, have less uh, less candidates and less uh, constraints to consider. So we find a combination of uh, 30 conditional cube variables in double kernel patterns associated with the three conditional cube variables in the former pattern. So the distinguisher here, uh, the property is, uh, uh, the complexity is 2 to the uh, 33. Uh, that's, uh, sorry. Uh, that's the contents uh, of uh, our talk today. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. There is time for a very short question. That's a very impressive improvement over previous works, but uh, I'm surprised that uh, uh, all the attacks you pr presented for the distinguisher are completely practical in uh, their complexity, and you stopped at eight. So what happens if you go to nine? Uh, will you get uh, non-practical, but still better than exhaustive search uh, result for a distinguisher? Uh, I think for the, uh, if we want to extend it to more rounds, we need uh, some more conditional cube variables. But it's very hard to uh, uh, get uh, such a combination. Uh, we, if we want to uh, discuss it for a few rounds more, uh, we need to uh, discuss the, uh, the multiplication in the third round. But it's very difficult because uh, uh, diffusion is uh, of of a mess. I'm sorry. Thanks. Yeah.